first thing you want to do is pull off the rear seat. You're going to see two two covers. We're not going to be dealing with that one. This is the one we're going to be dealing with. Two GL wheel drives have the fuel level sending unit and the fuel pump itself all in one assembly. So this is what we're going to deal with. May as well pull off the hold on for the, for the harness itself too. There's our treasure. Full of rust and everything. What you want to do is you want to unplug this connector right here. There you go. It's out. Put this plate and assembly out of the way. Now once you have that, once you have both connectors out, you want to start the car so the excess fuel in the system and the lines and everything are gone. Just like with anything fuel related, you want to pull off your negative cable. You're going to be dealing with fuel, and fuel and sparks do not mix. Once you start your car to make sure it doesn't run anymore, pull off the first, first uh, clamp. And loosen up your first hose. Once you have that off, you want to lube up. Yeah. Now, I usually like to lube up the ring itself. I think it helps once you uh, pull it off. Once you have that done, you want to grab a flathead screwdriver and a hammer, and you're gonna want to tap. You want to. We want to use these little tabs as your point to hit. So you can rotate the, this plastic ring loose. This is pretty much off. Now you use your needle nose pliers or whatever you hit is you use to get this clamp off. Use the same pliers to break it loose from the fitting, like so. And Pry it loose like that. Now you have both fittings off, and you have this line, the feed line left. Now we go underneath the car. Fun stuff. You want to use a 19mm and a 14mm flare nut wrench and 
you're going to try to move the 14 millimeter one and leave the 19 millimeter in place since the 14 one that's the one that rotates freely once it's loose make sure it's you have a nice handle on it and then you break it loose there we go Once you have it lined off, you're probably going to have a lot of fuel leaking out, so you want to have something to catch it on. Now, as you can see, you can barely get the fuel pump off because the line is still connected up top. So you want to use some tin snips and cut a nice, a nice uh, groove on your fuel pump around the actual floor pan so you can so you can uh, get access to it do that and then use your pliers to fold it back a little bit don't do it too much just just enough I want to grab a rag to catch all the fuel and that's it it's out here it is your fuel pump assembly there's your float for this for the uh, fuel gauge fuel pump the ring while you have the the fuel pump out of the car do yourself a favor and grab a rag clean rag and cover the hole. You don't want to foul. You definitely don't want to foul anything that's in there. As you can see, the, it's pretty clear, so it stayed clean inside the tank. And you don't you don't want to mess that up by throwing dirt in there or whatever. <laughs>